that uh, during that first implosion, you could hear the feel the ground is shaking a bit. Kristen, you were saying it was kind of loud out there, but people still had their their cameras out and they were taking pictures and they they sort of cheered at the end. Kind of wonder what they're going to do now <laughs> once this second attempt happens. I guess it kind of depends on what happens. Oh, yeah. Well, it's, like I said, at this point, these are the faithful few, the ODOT crew. So they are certainly going to be cheering louder than anyone had been earlier in the day because this process has been so long. And again, it's so important to making sure that the, this bridge they've invested so much in is operating properly. There we go. There we go. Whoa. All right. There we Yay. go, Kristen. It looks like at this point, I yeah, can't that quite was tell. It, it looks, like that, I can't <laughs> looks like the entire bridge went down. I'm hoping we can get uh, Dan Carroll here on the line in just a moment. Uh, do we have him, producers? We do. Dan Carroll, what can you tell us? <laughs> well, Tamika, that was uh, a, a lot more uh, spectacular than I thought it would be, <laughs> to, to be honest with you. The, the section of the bridge that didn't budge earlier came down. And now we look at the, this is the northern part of the bridge we were talking about before. I was anticipating that this section would come off that pier and drop completely down to the ground, but it does not look like that has happened. Okay. So, and I, you know, again, we're going to have to, it, it took several minutes after the initial explosion to get word from the, the crews on the scene that uh, things did not go exactly as planned. And I, I was under the impression that they wanted this piece to come completely off that pier and fall down to the ground, but that did not happen. So we're going to have to wait and see what the uh, what the verdict is on that. But if we go back to the other section, and that was uh, fairly dramatic, a lot more dramatic than I thought it would be, that entire section came crashing down. And this is what I was talking about earlier. This access road that you see down below, I thought I thought initially they might have decided know. not to drop this uh, this part of the the bridge on the access road because you don't want to damage it with all those tons of steel yeah. uh, falling down on top okay, of it I'll but uh, that was part of the original plan was to have that part of the bridge drop down and be on the ground there so that part uh, looks like it's been accomplished and man that was uh, that was very impressive explosion right there with that part of the bridge the on here on the southern end uh, coming all the way down but now as we go back to the northern end of the bridge you saw these uh, two ODOT trucks stop at the uh, at the northern end take a look at that and now they're going down and they're going to take a look at the southern end i would imagine they're going to stop right here and probably get a eyeball that pretty well and uh, get a get a report back on that let me see if they're stopping yeah they're, they're going to stop right there and take a look at that and they'll report their findings to whoever they need to report that to so here at the north end of the bridge this part remains on the it, it, as i look at this and Dan, go ahead and circle around this and we'll, and we'll see. But it doesn't look like this really changed at all after that, uh, that second attempt at the uh, controlled demolition. Yeah, so we're going to have to uh, get an update from Kristen Swilly on the ground when she talks to the uh, representatives from the contractor and representatives from uh, ODOT to find out exactly what their verdict is on this and uh, what the next step is going to be. To yeah, it's, it's a little bit hard to tell from my vantage point that maybe it, it teetered over just a little, but I, I really can't tell. But it's kind of interesting that that is the, the smaller portion and the southern portion, which obviously is the much larger portion, came down with no problem. So again, not an exact science here, but certainly much more spectacular, as you mentioned, than uh, what we saw earlier this morning, just after seven o'clock. Wanna go ahead and replay for you now the second attempt to implode the old Murrow Bridge coming down just about five minutes ago from the ground. Boom, and there you go. Kristen Swilly, uh, hopefully not too far away, or too far away from the scene. She's wearing her heart hat though and her vest. So uh, hopefully she's in a safe location as well as everybody else out there that is uh, doing any spectating. Okay, so. All right, so we are hearing now from Kristen Swilly that uh, ODOT is saying that this did work, that th no more no more implosions to be done here, no more detonations, that this is considered to be a successful project. So after just a couple of hours now, we are finding out that the old Jeremiah Bridge has finally come down. Years of history gone, and we can't say seconds now. <laughs> we have to say in a few hours, but years of history uh, gone in just a few hours. Thank you so much for joining us on our special coverage of the implosion. 
of the old Jeremiah Morrow Bridge. We'll be back this evening for Nine on Your Side at 6. Now back to your regularly scheduled programming.